Hey Siri, it's time to shine. Hey YouTube, Jason here, aka Maslin Monty, and today I wanted to show you the beauty that is smart home lighting. For a little bit over a year, I've had the Philips Hue in my house lighting a couple rooms, and just recently, my wife surprised me with the Nanoleaf Aurora smart lights. Here's what I think of them, and spoiler, I love them. Let's talk about the Philips Hue first. I've had them longer, and honestly, they're a more practical product. The Philips Hue come in virtually unlimited different shapes and sizes. The ones I have for my house are the E26 light bulbs in both color and white ambience. Philips nomenclature can be a little bit confusing if you're just starting out, but real quick. The most basic Hue lights are the Hue white lights. These don't change color or even the shade of white. The white ambience lights are more robust. Building on what the white lights have, the white ambience can adjust from a very blue shade of white to a very warm, almost orange shade. The white and color ambience lights are your feature-filled lights that can display a huge number of colors, as well as operate in tandem with other hardware. The white and color ambience lights are what you see behind me, and what I used to use to light myself in previous videos. Placed in these IKEA lamps, the colored hue lights make for an easy and pretty malleable lighting setup. Being able to adjust the brightness and color in-app is really great. On top of the app control, the newest generation of hue lights, and oh, there are generations of these, support Apple's HomeKit, so that means you can control them either on the HomeKit app or with Siri. Setup is fairly easy, provided you have the right gear. In order to use the Philips Hue lights, you need a hub that's plugged into your router via Ethernet. Once the hub is set up, there's still another step to pair the lights. For each light, you need to press a button on the hub, which may not be convenient if your router is in a hard to reach spot like mine. Once the lights are paired, you'll name them and set where they're located in your house. Once that is done, Siri, Google Assistant, or Alexa can control the hue per light, or a whole room of lights in a single command. Another amazing feature of the hue, and most smart lights in general, is the ability to schedule them. For instance, I have in my living room a light that comes on at sunrise and stays on until 9pm. You can schedule it much more in detail than that, especially if you use the app If This Then That. I don't do it myself, but I'll leave a link below to some workflows that you can check out. Alright, so that's the basic feature set. Let's talk about how they've lasted long term. So far, my bulbs work perfectly, but that doesn't mean I don't have a few minor complaints. My biggest issue with the Hue is that they have software updates. Let me say that again. My light bulbs have frequent software updates. Thankfully, these updates have been quick in my experience, with the longest one lasting less than 10 minutes, but it's less than ideal. My second gripe is smaller, but I run into it a little more often. With the Home app, I can access my lights whether I'm in the same room or 100 miles away. With the Hue app, I have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. That means when I'm not connected, I have to go back to settings, get on the right network, and then adjust settings. That's a bummer considering the Hue app has a few more features than the Home app does. And on top of that, I have a hub plugged into my router. It should be able to access it anywhere. Finally, a tiny issue, but one worth mentioning if you're going to use the Hue lights for filming. With the shutter speed set to 60, it picks up a strobing effect. Like I said, it's a tiny issue, but one worth mentioning. Alright, next up, and still new to me, are the Nanoleaf Aurora lights. Let's get one thing out of the way. The Philips Hue lights are set to replace existing light bulbs, but the Nanoleaf Aurora are modern art. The Aurora lights are made to be adhered to the wall and stick there, so they won't be mobile like the Hue. The starter kit, which runs $200, comes with 9 triangles. But before you even install the lights, which took me about 10 minutes, you can plan your layout in the Nanoleaf app. The app is fantastic. The important things are quickly accessible, and the brightness is just a single slider at the top of the app, and these things can get bright. While they won't replace a traditional light, my stack of 9 lights was enough to light up my small office. While you can have still patterns, like this solid palette of natural tones I'm using right now to light myself, there are tons of pre-made palettes to choose from. I found that a lower light retro pattern is really relaxing when I'm trying to get work done and edit in the evening, and the Nemo and fireworks patterns are just plain fun. Ultimately, the Nanoleaf lights are a talking piece. I have mine in my office, but they'd go right at home in a living room or another social room. You can expand upon the initial nine triangles with additional packs of three. Unlike the Hue, there's no bridge to set up, but rather a quick pairing process with the power brick itself. Okay, so what don't I like about the Nanoleaf? A couple things, actually. Just like the Hue, they have software updates, but unlike the Hue, they don't bother you to update 
rather hide them deeper in a menu inside their settings. Second, and potentially an actual issue, one of my nine squares has a faint flicker, even when the lights are powered off. I would try to reseat the connections, but the included adhesive is so strong, removing the light would probably remove the paint from the wall itself. Nanoleaf recommends using a different kind of 3M adhesive if you're not completely sure where you're going to install them on the wall, and I 100% back that up. And those are my only drawbacks. I think I like the Nanoleaf a little bit more, even though they're less practical. Anyway, that's my quick tour of smart lights. Another big player in the game is LifeX. I don't have any LifeX bulbs myself, but I'll link in the description another video that shows them off really well. So, those are the Philips Hue and Nanoleaf Aurora smart lights. What do you think about them? And do you have any yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jason, aka Maslin Monty. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey.